Your Excellency, the Deputy Speaker, sir. أعوذ بالله سبحانه وتعالى من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. My respected brothers, colleagues, bosses, here are present my co-contestants. Honorable Ali Betara Mukhtar, Miriam, my brother Sada Soli, my brother Gagdi, and my brother Jaji. I want to welcome you and appreciate your presence here. Thank you very much. What can I not express my own gratitude? My brother, Senator elect from Plateau State, Senator Diket Plang, I want to recognize you especially. My brother, Senator elect from Kasina, Honorable Nasi Nuzagwandaura, respected bosses of ours. Member select. My brother and leader, Honorable Nguroji Babangida, former Deputy Speaker of the Nigerian Parliament here at present, I want to appreciate you. My party leaders across North Central Nigeria, my colleagues, former and present. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening. Members of the praise, I want to appreciate you and thank you very much. I want to start before presenting my speech. A very little history. And that is why we need to come together to move and forge ahead to ensure that we do the dateful. I appreciate those who have been following the history of this parliament. A lot of us have sacrificed and will still sacrifice in the interest of our nation and for the purpose of building a viral institution called House of Representatives that will be beneficial to the people of Nigeria and to the glory of God. 2015, my colleagues that were in the chambers then will recall I went around to seek their consent to run the office of the chief whip. I got close to 75% of the members endorsed me and pushed me to be chief whip. But after some negotiation, even though I was endorsed, I was asked to step down for Adodegua, and then for my zone, Honorable Buba was given the deputy leader. That is one of the sacrifices that I thought I made for this house and Nigeria. But as God will have it, by the middle of the regime then, 2015-2019, we lost our brother Honorable Buba, and I was taken in again to serve as the deputy leader of the house. And I deportized Honorable Femi Bajai Miller for two good, very years. Again, 2019, when I returned to the house by the grace of God, I thought I should go for the speakership. Leaders of our nation, our party, colleagues, prevail on me to allow Honorable Femi to be the speaker. Of course, I was pretty sure if I had run that election, I was going to win. But in the spirit of togetherness, one country, I again bow and step down for my brother Honorable Femi to be speaker. All of us were active participants, and this is the cannot be forgotten. In a nutshell, I will tell this congregation and Nigerians that I will use my word and the word of my leader, Emelokon, Emelokon, Emelokon. Thank you very much. Having observed 
all protocol, fellow Nigerians, my leaders, dear colleagues, and other admirers here seated, let me express my profound uh, uh, admiration and gratitude for your distinguished presence at this event, where I will be speaking on the aspiration of the speakership of the House of Representatives of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I feel highly honored by your eminent presence here today in large numbers to witness an event that has implication for our march towards greatness as a nation. This event has implication for our democratic journey to, uh, to, to, uh, has a, uh, this event has implication for our democratic journey to growth and development because of the, par the parliament is the bastion of democratic governance where the representatives of our people were less to, pro to plot agenda for progress, development, and the well-being uh, of Nigerians. May I use opportunity to appreciate their presence once more. Their presence here is in large number demonstrate and reinforce not only my personal conviction, but also our collective goal and aspiration to rally around a federal bill lawmaker who imbibe with national spirit to lead the Assembly of the Representatives of Nigeria in the renewed energy to achieve our development goals as a nation. Fellow Nigerians and my colleagues in the House of Representatives in particular, today marks the day of making a choice in our determination to continue to build hope in our people by our deliberate option to ensure that our path to greatness that we started charting since democratic governance returned to Nigeria in 1999 is no longer truncated, but must be witnessed, but must be widened in our determined efforts to build on the successes we have achieved in our democratic journey, we cooperate and collective goals as a nation for the prosperity of, the, of, our, of our, uh, our people. There is no doubt so, that we are all aware of the daunting challenges that confront our, democracies, uh, our country today as a nation. The roads are rough and the tasks are tough, but the challenges are not unsurmountable. What would we need as a deliberate choice to push for the right people with fervent patriotism and energy of the spirit, commitment, confidence, and focus to lead the charge in our determined journey to national redemption. Today, we face various daunting challenges that tax our vision, capacity, patriotic spirit, competence, and resolve to confront these challenges head on in the most deliberate manner to achieve a, uh, the success that we all need to build hope in our people that a better Nigeria is possible and achievable. Indeed, the task before us is to overcome the tribulations that threaten our heritage of, our, of honor, hard work, enterprise, development in the context of Nigerians, leadership in Nigeria, and, for, and her prime place in world affairs. We are all mindful of these challenges, and with the collective responsibility of all Nigerians and the leadership in particular, we shall continue in our efforts towards growing Nigeria to a prosperous nation by eliminating all threats on our path and ensuring that the challenges that have been defeated so far are not reversed, to threaten our existence all over the nation, all, all, all over again. We have overcome the threat of COVID-19. That, the, had had that, that had devastated effects, devastating effects of, on, the, on the economy of the world. Stocking is shrink in the volume of portions of national economy and, and, and supporting youth unemployment with, uh, with devastating consequences. Here in Nigeria, the consequences have uh, reverberated in security challenges, spurred by unemployment among the massive population of young Nigerians and are now forced to embrace crimes to survive the suffocating effects of challenges imposed by the unfavorable economic climate. All this need 
the intervention and services of the new leaders of the people to lead their competence for the health of the nation's economy and the and benefit and benefit of all citizens. Since the campaign for speakership of the House of Representatives began, many of my colleagues have signified their intention to seek the votes of members to be elected as speaker. This is a positive development in the dispensation of democratic governance. Honestly, I cannot I cannot single out any one of them as incompetent. The fellow colleagues, I want to believe that the principle of fairness, equity and justice as anchored in the Constitution of the Federal of Nigeria, section 14 4 and 3, which said in the earlier that the composition of government of Nigeria of the Federation of Nigeria or any of its agencies shall be carried out in such a manner as to reflect the federal character of Nigeria, therefore ensuring that there should no predominance of persons from a few states or on a, as an ethnic group in that government or any of its agencies. This provision is meant to anchor unity, peace, and prosperity. And I want to believe that our party and our leadership will respect this provision of the Constitution and do the needful. The federal colleagues, I want to urge you that I have a tender agenda point by the grace of God, if you give me this mandate, and we shall concentrate on the following. General orientation and image rebranding of the National Assembly, ensuring a true people's parliament, creating an efficient people's parliament, approaching the nation's building as a tax, irrespective of your political affiliation, tribe, or religion. This we have had with uh, this one would take me by Jamila and myself as leader, and we believe we'll do more strong and independent parliament. This we shall achieve collectively with my colleagues to ensure that the right is done while we cooperate with the uh, executive to ensure that the dividends of democracy trickles down our, to our people. We shall try as much as possible and we shall ensure the sustenance of law and order. Strong legislative oversight will be our priority. We our colleagues will carry out their function with dignity and respect and ensure that Nigerians have value for money and whatever is supposed to be done is done in the right way. I want to believe that security, the federal colleague, is going to be our top, top most agenda to ensure that we collaborate with the executive, executive and carry out the functions as we are expected to do in terms of creating and putting out laws for the good governance of our country. And then there shall be physical discipline and economic prosperity under our agenda. We, shall, we believe that social welfare schemes and programs which are started by the government of Buhari will be sustained and we shall ensure that we expand and Nigerians benefit. The federal colleagues, I want to believe that with this, I appreciate every one of you here present and by the grace of God, if you give me my, your mandate, my colleagues, we shall do you proud. We shall create a very vibrant legislator that will be of proud, that will be of, that will stand the test of time among all nations of nations. May I, on this note, thank you for all coming, and I still appeal to you to do the needful by ensuring that capable hand, experienced man, lover of all people, and the person who can create an enabling environment for you to make sure and ensure that your statements are heard and respected. Honorable Ahmed, it is what I say, is elected speaker come the next assembly. Thank you very much. I so appreciate it.